Welcome to Before the Bid, your connection to some of the world's best livestock sales. Stay tuned as your host, Andy Howe, takes you coast to coast, stopping along the way to talk with producers about their operation, their livestock, and of course, their upcoming sales. Let's get to it. Stock friends to this before the bid and on this one we are going way out west again and we are going out to Oakley Idaho and we are going to be talking about a pig sale this time and we've talked about this pig sale several times so I appreciate my guest on this one for coming back the last couple of years and it's been great to get to know him and talk to him and uh, swap some stories back and forth about different things and the weather and things like that that go on out there in Idaho and so back for this one again we are going to be talking some pigs in a pig sale and the pig sale is on March the 29th and it will be an online sale on SC Online. And from Adams Family Livestock, I want to welcome back Derek Adams. And uh, man, Derek, just appreciate you coming back with us again and uh, excited to talk about this set of pigs. Yeah, no, it's been great. I mean, worked out the last couple of years. I was, I was glad when we reached out again and it uh, works out and I enjoy talking to you guys. Glad we're back. It's great, and you know, a, a totally different thing than than what we're used to. You, you're talking two feet of snow and things like that. And if we if we had two foot of snow around here, I mean, this place would shut down for weeks at a time. So uh, that's that's kind of interesting stories for Midwest guy. Yeah, for sure. We uh, we get some snow from time to time, and this year we're getting it, so we're not going to complain. Right. The last couple of times we've talked about how dry and things it was out there, but that's totally changed this year. Yeah. The last couple of years have been a little bit scary. So to see some, some clouds and get some moisture this winter's it's definitely been a breath of fresh air for sure. Right. And you guys are out there in, you're in dairy country. And so, yep. so uh, those producers are really just eating this up and thinking, man, this is, this is going to be a great year. Well, good friend of mine owns a dairy and he works on the dairy when it's raining and snowing he's not thinking i'm glad that it's raining and snowing today (laughs) tromping through all that but in the long run yeah he's gonna enjoy it a little more right day-to-day stuff's not so great but yeah this uh this summer we're gonna fare out a lot better than we have the last couple summers for sure right because the reservoirs are filling and those things that you guys use to uh, do a lot of the irrigation. Those are looking really good this year. Yeah, I mean, so far, so great. I mean, and we'll see. Uh, you know, when the snow starts to run off here in the next couple of weeks, we'll have a we'll have a better idea. But I mean, the snowpack looks really good, and you get into eastern Idaho and into western Wyoming, and you know, start talking about what fills the Snake River and what fills those dams on the Snake River, uh, and what water that really contributes the snowpack looks good in those parts of the world and right here behind the house the snowpack looks really good so it should be should be a good year right awesome and it's even so wet that you guys are usually in and and doing quite a bit of farming now and and putting some seed in the ground and you're not able to do that yet usually you know on on a normal year you're farming right now you might not be planting but you're you're sure working ground getting ready and this year no yeah. One guy in one guy start his plow up, but no, nah, no. Those guys out north, there's a highway that runs from Rupert to Minidoka, and last week there was standing water over that highway for oh a while. Gosh. Wow. It might be a minute. Right. <laughs> might, might be. So it'll be one of those when it, when it hits, it'll just break loose and everybody will be running Mach 4 and nonstop. Yep. Right, trying to get it in. So, and we've talked about it before, but you guys have a seed house, is that right? Yep. Okay, and and what do you guys do? Usually this time of year, we're putting out grain seed and and whatnot, and we do a lot of work with Great Western Malting. So we we house a lot of a malt barley for them, and we help them to de- develop seeds uh, to be grown for commercial malt barley to to go to malt houses and make your IPAs and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Okay. Yeah, I still haven't tried any of those. I know I talked about that a couple of years ago, but I still just haven't tried any yet. So we didn't have any last year. Just 
I don't really know what causes the high protein grain or whatever, but sometimes if we get a bunch of high protein stuff, we'll separate it out and put it in a different bin Mm -hmm. and it'll go to, it'll go back East and they'll make, they'll make whiskey out of it. Oh yeah. But it's gotta be 13%. I think it's it's gotta be higher than 13%. Okay. Uh, You talk to, so you talk to different farmers and they all have a different theory, but but none of them line up. (laughs) Kind of like these cattle guys talking ringworm, right? Yeah, Uh, exactly. Different, different things to, to cure it. And so, yeah, different things to make higher protein grains. Yeah, exactly. So from time to time, some of you, it's just depending on the year and stuff to make back East to make whiskey. But this year I think everything went to beer. (laughs) <laughs> that's not bad either i guess <laughs> no no not too bad well that's that's cool on another note you guys have really in, in you always it, it seems like you're always trying to improve the hog operation and bring some new things in and, and do some new things just to keep making better hogs and better projects for these young people and uh, you guys have have done that again this year and and some of those uh, highlights that we should probably hit on is you guys have bought a few gilts and things that have been doing quite well this summer yeah so last year we picked up a gilt in aunt walter's sale in one of their spring sales a foresight daughter we thought she was pretty special and she went on to have a really good summer um she matured out a little quicker than we were anticipating so she didn't make it all summer but we showed her at those early shows and she was winning her class and winning her division and she ended up winning that deal in boise mm-hmm. she had a good day but i mean she was winning her class everywhere she went or she was grand reserve division just about everywhere she went she was good hog and she's actually got 12 babies on her right now oh awesome she found march first i think mm-hmm. and she's she's one heck of a mom got a got a set of younger pigs on her so we'll see what those turn into but pretty excited about that litter actually then we picked up a path forward guilt from travis perry we showed we showed her uh, last summer as well and she had a great start to the summer she was a reserve champion, market hog and breeding hog in Gooding. And then the next weekend, she was a reserve champion heavyweight and the reserve champion breeding guilt. Mm-hmm. And then I brought her home because she got too big. Mm-hmm. And I brought out a little guilt. Uh, I tra- just traded Kendall that weekend. I had a, a little guilt last year when we were in Ohio. We picked up a little guilt from... Mike McCoy, they're real McCoy genetics. Mm-hmm. She's a, a criminal intent skinny jeans daughter. And she went on to be grand or reserve at every show she showed at. Oh, wow. From the time I brought her out until Kendall showed her in August at her county fair. And the best part about that guilt is I told Kendall that I had her and told her, hey, there's a pretty good one in there. When you want to trade one of those bigger ones out, we'll just bring out this little one and she just kind of blew it off kind of blew it off and then the jackpot series come to burley right here just 20 miles from us and i hauled her in and i unloaded her Mm -hmm. and kendall fell in love with her (laughs) and i told her i said i've been telling you for a month now that she's been in my barn and you haven't listened so right here you go right And she was like, well, I didn't really know. I said, yeah, I know you didn't really know. And now here we are. You should listen to me more. Right. And now she knows. Well, that's good. Yeah. So she had a good summer. So we'll see how we get along this summer. Mm -hmm. I think she's got a pretty good set in there. So Good. Good deal. Good. And and again, just improving improving on your set and your uh, set of pigs and, and just trying to make everything better yeah and every year we we buy a couple gilts Mm -hmm. two three four five whatever you know just to try and keep us going forward plus whatever whatever we keep i mean between what i buy and what i keep i'll probably keep 10 or or so around Mm -hmm. uh, every year and 
I think the ones we bought this year, I, we picked up two out of that Hilti seal mm-hmm. a couple weeks ago. They're actually not here yet. They should be here by the end of the week, I hope. Mm-hmm. But I, I think their two guilds are going to be very nice. Um, then I picked up, when we bought Juice Box, I picked up three guilds from Travis Perry mm-hmm. as buddy pigs to make the ride with him. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, they're, they're pretty good guilds. <laughs> Isn't that funny? At first, it started out with one, and then I don't know, somehow it ended up with three. He he needed three buddies to make the trip with him. Uh huh. So it's fine. It worked out good. I got two. Kendall has two of them, and then I have one here. And Griff's gonna be two in May, so he'll show the one that I have here. Kendall's gonna put on a jackpot show for a senior project, and Griff's gonna show in PV showmanship. Awesome. And Aunt McKenzie's been training these pig. Well, that's good. That's awesome. Along with all those guilts, and, and you kind of mentioned it there, you also picked up Juice Box. Yeah. Yeah, we picked up another board from Travis. He is a roll call, never before sow, same sow that made Succession, their premium blend. And I'm very excited about this board. I mean, he's got monster legs underneath him. Uh, still very sound. Zoom is as a big mature boar now or becoming more of a mature boar now he's still keeping his feet and legs under him his feet just keep getting bigger and bigger I and mean, massive top dude he's gonna be very exciting I'm, I'm i'm very excited to see what his pigs are here coming up this summer we're just getting ready to start using him now mm-hmm. should be exciting to see what he makes for sure right well that's awesome now is that something that you can use back on your lunch boxes yeah that was kind of the idea these lunch boxes, they're, I mean, well, you're going to see in the sale, there's two lunchbox daughters that are awfully, awfully good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think, I think this boar is going to compliment them. The thing about the lunchbox babies, and then the thing about lunchbox is you don't, don't take him to muscle because he throws plenty of it. Mm-hmm. Um, just take him to them skinnier, better looking ones, and he's going to mass them up and he's, even if you take him to a skinnier one that's not as good looking, he still throws pigs that are better looking than he is. But kind of the idea was we thought, well, we'd, we'd breed these lunchbox babies back to him. This guy's turning into more of a freak than we anticipated, so I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm going to do it. Right. <laughs> you going to find you gotta, out. You've got to try and find out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, he this guy, he's big and massive, like lunchbox himself. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens, but I think he's going to get used heavy around the farm this year. I tell you that. Yeah, awesome. What more does a show pig guy want than a freak, right? Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> right, so we got to fit in just right. It's, uh, it's exactly right. Well, that's awesome. That's good. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, excited to see those and and hear about those uh, next time, and uh, hopefully that thing works out and and you get what you want out of that deal. That's really neat. Yeah, I'm excited about him. That's for sure. Good deal. Good deal. And you mentioned that uh, you do have some lunch boxes that we are going to talk about. Again, we do have the the sale coming up here on March 29th, and it is on SC Online Sales. You guys are having a uh, open house on March the 25th, right? Yep, Saturday. Okay. So come out and see us. The weather's probably going to be terrible, but my barn's insulated and it's inside and it's nice, so should be fine. Okay, well that's good. And I, I almost forgot about this. Uh, I've I've got to hear my notes, and then I skipped over. You've had some success already this spring selling some uh, pigs in in a couple different sales that you did hit the the last couple years, and uh, one of them the the catalyst sale. You guys went up there to that again. Yeah, that was another good deal. Garth, Garth, he's making that sale is going to be. I mean, we're only in the second year of that deal, and that sale is, it's got such a bright future. He does such a good job. I mean, getting that deal organized and bringing out James to auctioneer that thing, and and getting Jim out here to talk about hogs. I mean, he does. He's definitely got the right people involved in that deal to make that, make that thing a freight train for the future. And he's doing such a good job. And it was. It was fun to be a part of it again. I mean, we had, oh, 
forward, we sell the blue bear. We sold him seventh, I think. So, mm-hmm. I mean, right there in the top end of that deal. And, I mean, it was it was a very good production that Garth put on there again this year. And then also you went to the sale of champions and yeah. took took several there. And you got along pretty well. Yeah, that was another good. Those guys over there, uh, we started, you know, here, shoot, I don't even know, 2016 probably. Uh, Greg Gonzalez out there. He called us up about, hey, wanting to start a sale over here in Central Oregon, and and what we thought about, and what we thought about bringing hogs to it. And I mean, we've known those guys for going on 15 years now, so mm-hmm. um, we love to see them. So, what's a better excuse to go see those guys than go to a hog sale, right? Right, absolutely. So, we've been going to that deal for a while, and COVID killed it mm-hmm. for two years or whatever it was. I think they did it in 20, but 21 and 22, they didn't do it. So this year when he called and said, we're going to put it on again, dad said, yep, let's go. And uh, so we took seven over there and it was pretty good. We had to move it to whatever that town grants pass. They're just 15 minutes from Medford. And it wasn't ideal. I mean, it was an outside barn kind of, kind of inside. I mean, it was, I don't know how to explain what that barn was. It wasn't a great situation, but it was, it turned out mm-hmm. pretty good. And hopefully next year we can go back to Medford and get back inside again. And, and I think it'll be pretty good going forward. Sure. Well, that sounds good. Yeah. Getting those, getting those fired back up. That's always, uh, always a good thing. Yeah. It was good to get back over there and shoot. We took, what did I take over there? Two lunchbox babies, and I sold them. Lunchbox babies were hot over there. Mm-hmm. So that was a good feeling. Good, yeah. But, and I mean, when you use a newborn, you don't really know how things are going to go, and you end up turning out. It makes you feel a little bit better. Right, right, absolutely. Yeah. And then now you've got some that you're going to have in your online sale. Again, online sale on on March 29th, and you have sent me some. Uh, pictures of these and uh, man what a set as always that uh, that you have for this time we've got 10 lots is that correct 10 lots of pigs probably a lot of semen or two lots of semen or something right going to sell some lunchbox yep okay well good deal you can go to adam's family livestock on facebook yep there is a place that you can see what you guys are doing uh, of course, your uh, personal Facebook, Derek Adams. Yep. And, and then they can go check these out on uh, SC Online. By the time this gets out, uh, they should be up there. Yes. Right? If they want to yep. uh, go ahead and follow along with us on these. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Got that taken care of. Tell tell me about this blue guilt. So, this blue guilt's pretty intriguing to me. I think there's a lot of really good pieces about this one. Got a ton of look to her. She's got that lunchbox hind end. I mean, she's really, really flexible, and she's really, really good uh, build-wise. I think she's very impressive, and the amount of muscle that she has to be built like that I think is super impressive. Um, she's a she's a lunchbox out of line. Her mom never got shown anywhere, nothing. She was a summer litter, and, and here probably three years ago I had a bunch of summer litters, and her mom was in there, and her mom – her mom's gorgeous. Her mom's, her mom's very, very impressive. So, to get one like this out of out of her, it makes me it makes me happy. I think that I think that sow is going to do a lot of really good things for us moving forward. Mm-hmm. Super impressed. The whole litter. I mean, I think, and I, I think, if you want to take this one and you want to make a sow out of her, I think she's going to do it. Mm-hmm. I think, and I and I think if you want to take her and show her in the breeding in the breeding shows. I think she's got that gear. And I think if you want to take her and show her in the market shows, I think she's got that gear too. And I don't think there's many of them out there that have both gears. I think you've got a lot of, of breeding hogs or, or market hogs. And there's a few that have both. And I think this one has both. Oh, wow. So yeah, whichever, whichever way they want to run. She's impressive. That was a very good, very good litter of hogs. I, I couldn't, couldn't be more happy with the litter of hogs. If they, if, I could get every litter to look like this. Mm-hmm. I'd be happy. I think that sow laid down and had 13 unassisted. And oh wow, 
I walked in the Farrowing house that morning at about 6.30, and there was 13 little babies. I truly do love this blue, blue belted guild a lot. Absolutely. Yeah, I like her, too. I like her, too, quite well. I figured that was a pretty good place to start. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, why not Why not start with a hammer, and, and you did. Yeah, and we, we follow this uh, really good blue guild up with the, with the lot, too. We got a black bear right here, and, man, he's, he's stout. Yeah, yeah. So last year, uh, lot one, pretty good barrel, mm -hmm. and lot ten, right, pretty good barrel. I kept their littermate sister. Okay. And I bred her to last minute there at the collection, mm -hmm. and I got this guy. And uh, I mean, last minute's a freak show, and he did what exactly what we were hoping he was going to do. He made them big and stout and big backed and they they still move like their mom they're super athletic mm -hmm. and really good looking and then i think this one has a very bright future mm -hmm. this was a good litter uh jim mccoy was out here after the catalyst and he loved this litter mm -hmm. he the whole litter there's nine of them in there and he the entire litter from one to nine he said man that's the most consistent litter i think that you guys have i think mean, from one to nine just about the only differences are your notch oh wow this barrel, I, I'm pretty high on this barrel. I like him a lot. Stout, I think. I think this guy's very good. That's, that's what I was going, going to interrupt and say, man. This this guy is stout as stout is. Yeah, his head is incredible. And that guy, when he squares you up and looks at you, his the distance between his eyes is incredible. Mm -hmm. He's he's going to be a fun one for somebody. Yeah, I love that guy. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Hey, you may want to put out the picture that you sent me and the official sale picture as well. Yeah, I think, yeah. He takes so good, like, random pictures. He takes great random pictures. Mm -hmm. he, he's very cocky about the way he walks around that pen. Right. He knows he's hot stuff. Right. I was, I was just going to say, there's something about some of them have that attitude uh, that, they, that they know they're good. He's got that attitude. Right. That's cool. But he's he's going to be exciting. Cool. Well, we go from an all-black pig there in the lot two, and we go to the lot three, and we've got a, a white pig here, just a few speckles there on the rump, and uh, another really good really good pig to follow up. Uh, yeah, uh, litter four, succession checkmate. Mm -hmm. So in last year's lot one and lot ten, their mom is the same mom that this guy's got. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> when we were at, well, when we were in Indiana last year, we saw Barry Travis's, and he had that succession board before he sold him to Premium Blend. Mm -hmm. And I looked over the fence at that guy, and I tried to load him in our trailer. <laughs> I couldn't talk Travis out of that guy. And I, and I thought that boar was, I thought he was very good. I thought at the, at the time, in, during that trip, I thought that was the best crossbred boar we'd seen yet. Mm -hmm. And I told Dad, we're going to use him. Right. One that good needs to be used. And I think this white bear is very special. Super sound, got a really good look, still really crisp and, and got a really crisp muscle tone to him. I think he's going to be in like a 1st of August, end of July type fair i think he's going to be very very competitive at i think he's i don't know that i want to use the word green mm -hmm. but he's not super quick if that makes sense mm -hmm. right just a later maturing just cruising right along yeah i think this guy's going to be an easy feeder and i think he's going to he's going to make a lot of noise wherever he goes wow that's cool he'll carry 280 pounds i think too oh cool so I mean, I think I'm I'm pretty excited about this guy. Right, right. So if they have one that they want to take out early, they can follow yep. up with this guy and and bring him out a little bit later. Yep. Wow, that's awesome. He's going to be interesting. Somebody just need. I mean, somebody gets him and takes care of him. They're not going to be disappointed. Right. Now is this a litter mate to him? The lot four. Yes. Okay. Litter mate Gil. She's built like her mom. Mm -hmm. Got an incredible build to her. She's not the, the, you know, she's not maybe the most powerful thing out there, but she might be the best looking one out there. Mm -hmm. She's got an incredible look. The way she carries her headset when she walks around the pen is just incredible. The way she ties it into her shoulder. I mean, she's got just an incredible look to her. Somebody wants to take her and make a sow. I think she's going to make an incredible mom. Mm -hmm. 
I think I think she's going to make an incredible mom that will make you incredible barrows all day long. I think this one's got really, really good pieces to her. Mm-hmm. And whenever I look at her, I just think, man, you look exactly like your mother does. <laughs> and her mom had a great show career, right? I mean, that Checkmate deal has an incredible show career for the Hagen family down in California. I mean, she wins. She was a reserve champion like across the California Youth Expo. There's not many kids that can say that they got to do that, right? Right. Absolutely. I mean, her her mom comes from Cobbs, and I I mean, she's pretty dang good. And I think I think this guild, I think she's, I think she's gonna have a special future. Good deal. That's so, awesome. And you say she is a what? She's a succession Success. checkmate. Okay. All right. There's a lot of good in her pedigree for somebody that's looking. To make a sow right here is the answer. Mm-hmm. For sure. Right. Good deal. And like you say, just make their own. Yeah. Uh, uh, make their own from now on. So. Yep. That's awesome. Man, you've talked about some pigs with some power. You've talked about some pigs with some look. The picture that I've got of this one, uh, of the Lot 5, man, it looks like he just blends it all together. Yeah, this one's super complete. Uh, this last minute, believe in me, going to be... A litter mate to the solid black one, but I think maybe a little bit different than the solid black one, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but but different maybe in in a good way. I think both of them are still going to have a bright future, but I think this one I think is just super super complete. Yeah, you know, I don't mm-hmm. think there's any like, uh, but he could be this or he could be that. I think this one is just super complete, and I think he's got the build to go a lot of different directions. I think if you want to push one, I think I think you can push this guy. And I think you'll get along just fine because I think he's a, just a, a notch bigger framed or big enough frame that he can take that. Mm-hmm. Let's put him in, and make him go. Or if you want to slow him down and take him to a later show, I think you can do that because I think he's I think he's still built good enough that he can handle that. Right. Don't sleep on this guy. Right. I think he's pretty good. I agree with you. He has enough look and and like you say, complete. I guess that's what that's what drew me to him and and I couldn't. I couldn't quite come up with it, uh, it on the spot, but yeah, complete. And yeah, those are so fun to to play with and mess with and do different yeah. things with. Somebody's gonna have a. I mean, somebody takes this guy and takes care of him. They're gonna have fun summer. Right. I like him. Absolutely agree. We've got a guild here in the lot six. Just a thin belt here. A little thin belted guild. Mm-hmm. Whew. This one, I I struggled to put this one in the sale. Mm-hmm. I I like her a lot. <laughs> I did not want to put her in the sale, for being honest. I right. wanted to keep. Um, she's got that really green, immature look about her. Yes, but she's still super stout. Mm-hmm. Got a super good looking head. Mm-hmm. She's still got enough down her top that you know she's not going to be plain. Mm-hmm. She's still got a big enough ass and a big enough pin set when she goes away from you, and she handles it incredibly. Mm-hmm. This one is special. Mm-hmm. I think this one's got the ability to go to a show ring and compete with the best of them, and I think she's got the ability to go lay down in a crate somewhere and make them. Right. I think this one, I I really like her. I really <laughs> like this one. You can, but you when can. I said we were getting rid of the best 10, they're on the sale. Here you go. Right. So this one's good. Right. Those guys say if it doesn't hurt, you're not selling the right ones, right? Yeah, this one hurts. I'm <laughs> telling you, right? This one hurts. I can you. tell. I can tell just by just by your voice and, and the way you talk about her. You really like her. Not man, I don't blame her. She's cool. She oh, wow. Yeah, when we pictured her, she was uh, she was tough to picture. I mean, she when we were trying to get her pictured, my sister says, "Man, she's so good, and she doesn't want to picture because she's not real wild at all, right? I mean, she's very docile, right?" And, even my sister's like, well, she's not taking a picture. Maybe we just need to keep her. <laughs> I thought, well, maybe you're not wrong. Right. Looks like she got her fired up pretty well, though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you guys snapped a, snapped a good one of that one. Really have a lot of appreciation for her. So, 
Yep. And if you need a marked up one, we can go to the Lot 7 Guild. Yes. Littermates to Lot 1. Uh-huh. Another one that's very good, just like her sister, right? There's a ton there. There's a ton of, uh, of capacity there. I think to the center portion of her body, there's a, there's a lot there. Um, got a great deal of muscle right down her top line, right down the top of her skeleton. I think she ties it in very good to her head and neck. Just going to be a little bit flashier. I don't know if you can see it in the picture you've got. Her one front leg is white and the other one's black. Yes, yes. She catches your eye when you walk into that pen for sure. And and she, the way she carries her head around the pen is another one. That's one of those. Okay. I'm hot and I know it. Uh-huh. And that's the thing that she carries around that pen when she, when she motors around and then the picture, her markings don't do her any justice because I, I think maybe that black on her hip wants to make her hip look a little weird or whatever. And I, I promise you that's not the case with that one. I think that one's just markings. Right. I think that one, that one's hip and, and hind leg is plenty, plenty incredible enough. I think that one's, I think that one's very good. Don't shy away from that one because the way she's marked up. Right. Yeah. Zoom, zoom in on that picture, and you can really see that shape and and see that she's that she is okay. But, but yeah, right. That, I agree with you. First look that. Yeah. Don't let those markings throw you off. That guilt's future is is just as bright as any of those guilts we've talked about. I think. Mean, um, her markings might throw her off a little bit, but when you get that one in motion and she starts to flex and reach, you know for sure that okay, there's no, there's no problem there at all. Right. And she's that's a very good guilt. Right. We go to the lot eight, and we've got a crossbred. We've got a, a blue butt and a, a blue face here. Yes. So, this barrel, I like this lunchbox barrel. He's also a litter mate to the crumbed up guild and the lot one guild. Okay. Big stout. I mean, he's got a monster toe spread on him. He's got massive legs, oh, motors yeah. around, incredible, super extended uh, in front of his blade. I think his head and neck is, is super good looking, ties it in tall at the point of his shoulder. I, I think he's got a really good look to him, and he's got a ton right down the top side of his skeleton. He's another one. Them lunchboxes just so much capacity. That whole litter's got so much capacity to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, that's a that's going to be a good bear, and he's going to be he's going to be tough all year and an an easy feeder. He's he's the type that I think he'll feed out super easy. You won't have to do much to him. I think he's just going to be one you give him a feed bucket and he's going to make something for you. I think he's he's a good type and kind to have around. Right, I do agree with you. Look at that. Look at the tree trunks he stands around on. Look at that head and neck. He's so cool. Yeah. That's that that's a good barrel. Absolutely. Yeah, he oh, is oh. He is he is so cool. Uh yeah. Somebody's gonna get a steal there. I think he's gonna get overlooked. I think I I just got a feeling. Maybe not because he's blue, but somebody's gonna get a deal there. Right. Uh, I've got another one. This this has to be a litter mate here, the lot nine. Yes, probably greener pig, probably, mm-hmm. but he's the right type of green. When he comes at you, his chest is super square, super, super stout. He might be the stoutest of the lunchbox pigs mm-hmm. in there. Um, he, he's got, he might have the biggest feet and the biggest toe spread. Um, another, he's super hairy. I know these big, big hog jocks now want all this hair like the steer guys. Right. It's, Super, super hairy. Um, he's super dense skeleton, right? I mean, he doesn't have the most shape right now, and I think that's okay. Mm-hmm. I think when he gets to 270 pounds, you're going to have a freight train. Mm-hmm. When he gets to, when he starts to get that north of 250, you're going to have an absolute creature. Not to say that he won't go to a jackpot and get along just fine, right? But I think... As he gets to 250 to 200 and probably 70 pounds, you're going to have just a monster. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he's, it's going to take a little bit of time before him, for him to really bloom and come into himself. Mm-hmm. But I think, one, don't sleep on him because you think, you think, well, he's just a little bit greener and he doesn't have the shape and doesn't have the bloom that all the rest of those babies do. I, I No, don't worry about that. Like, if you want one to go to the end, at the end of the day, you want it to be something – Something neat and something exciting. I think this guy's gonna gonna fit that bill. Mm-hmm. And he is a lunchbox. Yep. 
So that says a lot right there. Yeah, that I think that, well, that one's going to be good. Right. Somebody's going to wake up one morning and think, man, I'm glad that I bought that barrow to go to the <laughs> So to go wherever you're going, you need to be 270 pounds. I think that one's going to be there. Right. Look at me looking smart. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. The Lot 10, we've got a little special deal here. What a, a big belted, really, really stout boar right here. Yes. So this is a litter four. This is a succession checkmate four pig. Mm-hmm. If you want him to be a barrow, I will cut him. Mm -hmm. But if you want him to be a boar, I will not cut him. Mm -hmm. Leave him intact and send him to you. I think he's pretty neat. Got a ton of muscle. Super, super heavy muscle. Uh, super stout. Carries it incredibly, right? He's got a good look. I mean, I left the nuts in him for a reason, right? Right, right. And then I realized that I probably don't need to sell a lunchbox. Right. I mean, we've talked about four of those lunchbox babies already, and they're pretty special. So mm -hmm. instead of keeping this guy, we're going to keep lunchbox, and we're going to sell this guy. Mm -hmm. Pretty good deal for you guys because I think the sport's pretty good. Right. I mean, he's super, super dense. He's got a ton of capacity to him. He's got a great look. I mean, his mom's got incredible looks. So he's got that same look that she does. Mm -hmm. uh, you've seen two of his litter mates already. They, they don't suck. He comes from a deep, deep litter. I think this one's got good future right? with whatever you want to do. If you want to cut him and show him, I think he's got a future for that for sure. If you want to make a boar out of him, I think that he's stout enough and I think he's, he's got enough muscle to do that. Mm -hmm. I think that one's pretty good. And he's got a, he's got a great sow backing him behind him. You know, that checkmate sow is an incredible mom. I think the sow line behind that deal is, is, is very, very good. Yeah. What a good offering again, as always for your online sale right here on SC. Very, very excited about this set. Yeah, you you should be. I mean, what you you took a couple of them, like you said, over to the catalyst. Some of them to the sale of champions, and uh, you've you've still got these ten high quality lots for the online sale. And man, I'm just I'm just happy for you. And uh, you know, you you always bring good pigs, and uh, we always talk good pigs on this one. But this said, you just almost outdone yourself. Well, I, I appreciate that. I mean been working at it for a couple of years now and i think we're getting somewhere right always a good feeling when you can feel like you're making progress absolutely good to feel so i have a, a way off the mark question here your background for your mm -hmm. pictures i i was looking through scrolling through facebook and saw uh you guys painting on the background and that sort of thing for your pictures mm -hmm. <laughs> How long did that take to put that background together? Well, let's see. It took about four minutes to paint the white. Okay. And then, so, since from Saturday to Wednesday, whatever that's been, five days, mm -hmm. um, Kendall, the girl that shows for us, mm -hmm. and one of her friends, Audrey, I've been here helping us tame baby pigs, get pictures taken, put calves away, move cat, whatever. Mm -hmm. They've been the interns for the last week, right? Mm -hmm. So those two girls and my mom spent about two and a half hours probably uh -huh. painting our brand on every single one of those bricks. Right. And it turned out pretty good. Yes, it did. It did. I thought it was interesting. You can only see about uh, six of the bricks <laughs> in the pictures. <laughs> so I, yeah. So I put those on there. Like, and it turned out really good, right? It turned out great. Right. Absolutely. And then you start taking pictures, and they don't always – they're big pigs. They don't cooperate right. at all. Right? Absolutely. So then once you get the pictures taken, and then – you get all the other pigs cropped out of the picture that you want and you get everything <laughs> situated so it looks decent. Look at lot one. She barely has any white in the background at all. Right. Right. So it no, it turned out it turned out great. It does. It looks really neat. And we actually have a banner 
that my sister designed and ordered it and it has it's kind of like that it has our brand and adam's family livestock on it on, on in black lettering and then the background's white right mm-hmm. <clears throat> it showed up today <laughs> <laughs> when you were all done taking pictures. <laughs> yep, when we were done taking pictures. Oh, isn't it fun? So I told my sister, I said, well, we'll have it for the preview, I guess. Right. It turned out good. Good. So. Good deal. We'll, we'll look for it here in the future. Yep, yeah. yep, for sure. Next year, right. we'll have it. Right, that's awesome. Derek, anything else we need to know about these pigs or uh, the sale or anything like that? Lot 11. We're going to offer oh, some semen. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to have lunchbox semen. Oh, cool. I don't know how many lots of it. We'll have one or two lots of it. I don't know. But, I mean, you see the kind of type of pigs he makes. So, mm-hmm. Right, right. If you, want to, if you want to make one like that, better use him. Right, right. What's our What's our shipping on that? How do we handle that? Call me when you want it. And... Shipping out of here usually isn't bad, so you guys pay the shipping on it, mm-hmm. and I will get it to you whenever you want it. Okay. I collect him on Mondays and Thursdays. Okay. So it's pretty much available anytime. We just just let you know and get it shipped to us. Yeah. Uh, give me a. I mean, give me a couple days. Don't just text me in the morning, the Thursday morning, and say, "Hey, I want lunchbox scene." Like, right. Give me a, give me, like night before would be great. Right. Okay. If I don't have any orders or if I'm not going to use him, I'm not going to go out there and collect him. Right. But if I know somebody wants him and, or I need him, I'll go out there and collect him. Okay. No big deal. Okay. Good deal. Again, guys, that is Adam's Family Livestock. March 29th, go down and uh, look for that on SC Sale. And if you are driving around in Idaho this weekend uh, on the 25th and you want to stop and look at pigs why derek's gonna have a open house out there yep we'll be around all day saturday awesome well that's so great all or message us on facebook or text me or whatever whatever works for you guys cool that's great well derek i appreciate it man it was great to catch up with you again and uh hear about everything going on out there and and hear about these great lots and i uh, want to wish you a lot of luck man Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. It's always good talking to you guys. Yeah, you too. You too. Well, again, guys, uh, SC Online, March 29th, Adams Family Livestock out in Oakley, Idaho. And we want to thank Derek for being with us here on this podcast. And we want to thank you for listening to another edition of Before the Bid Podcast.